You know, you're sitting there, minding your own business, and then out of nowhere, you get yourself arguing with someone. You're trying to defend, trying to stand up for your opinions, and trying to advocate. But once you lose your temper, chow chow, it's just done. They win, you lose. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to keep your calm, how to be relaxed, how to be chill in any confrontation. We gon' live, we gon' fight, off the cliff, take a dive, swing and miss, feel alive, get back up, we gon' thrive, never stop, live in life, take it off. Number one. Imagine yourself becoming transparent. You see, a lot of times you lose your temper when you feel like your identity is touched in a negative way. But just do one thing. Feel yourself becoming transparent for their actions, for their words. You know, whatever they say, let it pass through you. Whatever they do, just let it pass through you. Don't hold on anything. It's realizing that their words and their actions won't really affect you. I don't give a shit. This way, all their negativity just passes through you and you'll feel more calm. Number two. You don't need to defend. When you are in confrontation and you're trying to defend, it is signaling to other person that they're winning. Why? Because there is no defense without attack. You're defending yourself because you feel like they're attacking and triggering your pit peeves. So as I said in the first one, be transparent. Let their words pass through you. Don't try to defend. Number three, respectfully call out the behavior. You see now you're calm. You're relaxed. You feel yourself being transparent. You're not defending anything, you know, when they're shouting, when they're arguing, when they are just losing their temper. So now you respectfully tell them, you call out the bad behavior, right? Just say this, hey yo, rephrase your previous statements. I don't like it. Let's talk like grown ups. That's it. Just say this. Yeah, you're not trying to defend yourself. You're not identified with anything. You're just trying to, you know, make things better. Number four, be able to laugh at yourself. So here you're disarming them. As I told you previously, when you're trying to defend yourself, it's subconsciously signaling that they're winning. So when they tease you, just laugh at yourself. This is literally just destroying them, all right? You know, they want reaction out of you. So don't react. Number five, Take time before you speak. Again, here we're trying to be calmer and calmer and calmer. All right, so before you speak, just take time. That's gonna make you more calm, all right? You give your rational mind enough time to process the situation. Bear in mind this, when you say something, it's just out there. Like, you can get it back. You know, you might say things that you might regret in the future, all right? So be quick to listen and slow to speak. Last one, this one is a big one, all right? Like this one, like this is the basic of all the things that I've told you. Look at the big picture. You see, when you're talking to people, you gotta have some value in the conversation. Not even confrontation, but just basically, when you're talking to people, there has to be some value shared. So whenever you are in confrontation, I just want you to ask yourself one question. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to argue with someone that is not mature enough to be able to be open-minded for new ideas, new opinions? If the answer is no, just move on. You know, as I said, you're not gonna get anything out of it or you're not gonna help that person. Ah, these are six things that you have to do to keep your cool in any confrontation. I hope you find it helpful and knowledgeable. I'm going to see you in the next one. Ciao.